Well, come on out. You two made a mess. I, I came and swept in here, and I see a whole lot of doo-doo balls that were not there last night. You're hollering because you want to be where Bella is, but Bella's over here. Oh, my gosh. Well, this is where Bella wants to be. She put herself here. Baby girl. Yeah, tell her, Bella. Oh, that's not where you're supposed to go. I guess I could use right here as the intro to this video. So we are going to go over to the barn. And the vet's there right now, but he's with a different horse. So I have to wait my turn because um, I kind of piggybacked on today's vet visit. Um, that's my hair. Don't eat that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put a full alert in Gracie. I, I don't think she's going to full. But we have a convention this week, and it's only in Nashville. So I'll be sleeping here every night. I'll be 30 minutes away. But I just don't want to really be worrying about it all week that I have to watch the camera. So um, we're going to go ahead and put it in just so that I get an alert when she goes into labor, if that happens. Um, if not, even better. But we're just going to go on the safe side. So she's getting that in today, and then we're going to check on Indy and Cool because we're gonna to try to breed them really soon. So, um, and I think we're also gonna check on Trudy about sewing her up and then we're gonna put her and her baby outside. So it's just gonna be a fun horse filled day. Turn around wide load. <laughs> so big right now. So she's at 324 days. Um, and I don't really see her having it in the next week, but we'll see. So the problem is that she's a maiden and I'm going to be at NWTF all week. And I don't, I need to know if she's going to like, I need to get an alert if she has it. So it's like, Which Gracie, she's the one carrying for Beyonce. Yeah. So this is the full alert. So you bought, you have to buy like a box first for these little, devices to talk to. So we have like the full alert box in our tack room downstairs. You have to have Wi-Fi. Um, so what happens, he sews this in to her vulva, so her lady bits, and it has a magnet so that when the feet of the foal come out, it breaks the magnet, which sends a signal to the full alert box, which calls our phones. So this makes it so that when she goes into labor and the feet poke out, or the, even the sack just pokes out, it'll call our phones and it says full alert, your mare is foaling and we can get down here ASAP and help her if she needs it or if she's got it, we're just there on standby. Don't give me that side eye, Gracie. Because if we go ahead and get them like cycling, it won't be until after this week, right? I don't look at the calendar when we started. Okay. Because the earlier the better, because then if they don't take the first time, you still have time to do it a second time without it getting too late in the year. So I'm going to try to start breeding cool and Indy kind of early. You're a sweet baby. You're the sweetest mama. Can you stay sweet after you have your baby and don't be mean like Trudy? Are you concerned at all that she has like no milk dropped at this stage? Like, she, her udder has progressed, but she doesn't have milk coming out. Like, she, you no. can't get milk to come out. No, no I'm actually encouraged. Okay. That. I mean, 324 is too early. Right, right. But I'm just so worried she, about. She's still in the back. she got quite a bit of edema there. Okay. Um, you know, she can, she can wait another 10 days. I would love really, 10 days. <laughs> to really start making some right. milk, that would be good. I think we're a little early on full alert, but I'd rather. Right. Have it well, there. the other one had it at 330. So it's like, I'm trying to, in case she does that. How many babies does she have? This one, uh, we've only had her two years. So I don't think she's had one. She's showing good. I know. And she, she's not that much smaller than Beyonce. Beyonce is like 15 hands. She's like 14 too. So it's like, but she was also, she had a, she had a good belly before we even bred her. So. She had a little <laughs> yeah. You already had a big grass belly. I'm gonna come back here and film too while she's being good. 
So she's getting all numbed up. One more stick. Poor mama. People were joking, but they were like, horses get more pain medication than women do at the OBGYN. <laughs> horses kick harder than women. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Maybe we should start kicking. Yeah. So it's going to look a little swollen because of the lidocaine, being like that fluid being in there. So it's not quite that puffy normally. This doesn't mean I want you to have your baby. This is just safety precautions. You hear me? That was perfect timing. You had a bulwark? Yep. So now he's going to put the stitches in. Like I said, that's like puffy like that because of the lidocaine in there. Joel always does a good job. I love Joel. I just want to hang out with him all the time. My favorite is sending him text messages that are this long and he just writes back. Okay. <laughs> or thanks. Joel, are you okay being in a YouTube video? Sure. <laughs> but we have been limiting her activity until today, so I just want to make sure before we put her out in the big pasture that she's good. Straight to the food. Yeah, we're going to put them out after he assesses Trudy. So there we go. Tra Tracy? Oh my gosh. All right, so we already put her full alert in, but we do need to check up on her, look at her udder. Um, I think her belly has dropped significantly. I've been checking on her every day, and her tail softness is pretty loose, but it's staying the same. Um, and then we'll go ahead and check on Beyonce and Ethel, who are our next two mares up, but they're not close. So I think Beyonce, who's next door, is at like 290 days, and Ethel is even like... I think 270 days. I'm not quite sure. So they're really far behind Gracie here. Gracie is at 324. We want her to be in the 330s. That's like the goal. Um, maidens are iffy. They either come early or come late. So we went ahead and put her full alert in just because I'm going to be out of, not out of town, but not as quickly available this next coming week. So let's go ahead and look at her udder because I think we looked at it last week and it was not that big. Um, you know, she's a maiden, so she's never had a baby. So her udder is going to be significantly smaller than a mare who has had foals before. Um, but it is progressing, which is good to see. And she's not progressing too fast. So even my vet was like, that's actually really good. We don't want her to have milk yet because she is, um, so early on in her pregnancy. So it's actually a good sign that she's holding off on progress on a uh, producing milk. So. It's worrisome when they get to the end of their pregnancy and they don't have any because then it's like, you know, what you gonna feed your baby? But when, uh, when they're this early, it's fine. Let's look at Beyonce who is up next. Her due date is April 4th, but she has a habit of having her babies like at least two weeks early. So I'm gonna go ahead and have it on video. I'm gonna guess she's gonna have it March 28th. But let's look at her. So get back at this angle. We'll, look, we'll get the belly shot. So she's not really low. She's still holding that baby up high. When you look at her from behind, she's very wide right now. We, uh, we lovingly call her our land hippo. She's always eating. She's always on the thick side. But uh, I'll show you her udder because, you know, she's nowhere near having her baby. It'll be 
another month or so, and her udder's already bigger than Gracie's. So if you want to pop up underneath there and uh, see how much bigger her udder is comparatively. You got big titties, girl. I'm sorry for my crudeness. Uh, but yeah, so she's nowhere near, and then we'll go look at Ethel real quick. Ethel is, um, like I said, even farther behind her. I believe her, uh, her due date is April 17th, and her past three babies she had early. So I think her first one, he was really, really early, and he um, passed away. So he was like a 321-day baby. The others were both I believe 327 and 331, so pretty early, um, just like Trudy had Penelope, but those dates should be fine if she continues with that, um, you know, habit of having them that early. But she's also a smaller mare. Um, she was bred to a larger stallion this year. Not that her baby should be too big for her because usually the babies will, you know, be around the mare size when they're born. Um, they may grow afterwards, but she will be our last mare this year to foal. We're only having four this year. She's going to come and say hi to you before you can even see her belly. Hi. See, Ethel, Ethel's got to have all the lovings. She's our sweet girl. She never gets mad at people when she has babies. She lets you do whatever you want. She's our sweet mama. Oh, well, hey. So we'll go ahead and I'll show you kind of like because she's so far off, I'll show you like her softness and firmness. Now, she's had a bunch of babies, not a bunch, three. So she's gonna be softer than say Gracie was at this point in her pregnancy. But like that's about as high as I can take her tail up. Whereas with Gracie, I can like flip it over her back at this point. And then her udder is looking pretty good. We actually, when she was a maiden, were worried that she was not gonna have enough milk for her baby, but she trucked along and right as the baby was born started producing milk um, and ever since then her udder's gotten bigger and bigger every year so that's good to see because I'm not gonna lie with that first baby it was hard for him to latch because her teats were so small like so so small so I see you have a good udder now that's good but anyway there was like a little broodmare update um, we're really happy to have Gracie's fuller in just because that gives me some peace of mind even though it's probably too early but you never know she's a maiden and they tend to be really inconvenient <laughs> so like subscribe tune in for the next update we've got a lot of fun videos planned with breeding season and foaling season and baby penelope and baby cows and all kinds of stuff so ethel says help a sister out by leaving a comment and uh tune in next time